Mr. Arunav Kumar. And the surprise is, we are batchmates. Hi, Arunav. So you get really spoiled for choices. 
and all of us begin making choices when we clear that toughest examination in the country and uh, then we are given a rank and then we are told to choose some subject. So that's a moment that I clearly remember because you really uh, have no idea. So if you are good in electromagnetism, you choose electrical. Most of your parents tell you to choose computer science because that guarantees your job. Uh, somebody is scared to take mechanical because his rotational dynamics was very weak. And somebody doesn't want to study chemical because his chemistry was very weak. So these are the very vague and superficial fundas that we, even the top rankers, I knew rank people who were in AIR 1, AIR 100 and these guys, even they didn't know all about what is happening in one. So uh, I thought, okay, there's electrical, so and uh, then there is Kharagpur who was giving free computers to all the people who were coming in first years. So that sort of became another factor in choosing this college. <laughs> but okay, I'll get a free computer now. And uh, I chose KGP electrical five year course. And uh, the day I come here, I come to know that uh, electrical is not the same electrical which is there in all the other colleges in IIT. So that was my first revelation. So that was my first brush with how you have, you think you have all the information, but you don't have any information at all. So I knew people in my seniors who had around 130 rank, 114 rank, and they chose electrical because they didn't bother to find out what is the difference in electrical in Kharagpur or electrical in Delhi or electronics in Kharagpur. So that sort of became a very, very important incident in my life. And uh, since then I became very anal about finding things out. It might be a bad thing, it might be a good thing, I don't know. So on the fourth day in BGP when I ran, my parents were like, they opened the door, they saw me, they were like, Are you what, what happened? So I said, no, I'm not going to that college, I find it boring, this, that. So they said, my parents were like, they said, what to do now? So they gave me a lot of cash. So they gave me 25,000 rupees cash. And then they said, take this money and go. And you can have, eat as much as chocolates that you want, buy a cycle with the gear, and so this sort of became my background I have the money so let's go back then then started the choices of you know what I want to do with my life so in the first semester I wanted to do economics from LSE in the second I wanted to do MBA third semester I wanted to do UPSC <laughs> Two computers. Sixth semester is when I think uh, I was the governor of ETDS Dramatic Society. So people from there, ETDS English Technology Dramatic Society. Oh. People from HTDS. Oh dear. The HTDS offer was that I think I, this is one decision again I should be considered. So, then I had gone to, uh, so this this is to happen, so eight semester I was like, okay, you know, I want to do LSE, it's London School of Economics, I'll, I used to go to Central Library, they had a management section, so I used to read all these half business reviews and I read all these books, didn't get anything out of that, I just used to read, look at them, feel good that I'm doing something with my life, <laughs> sit in that area of Central Library where maximum girls come to study, uh, and I used to hold my books like this so that people would think, like, yeah, intellectual. <laughs> Then uh, I remember I ordered a prospectus from LSE and the day the prospectus landed I lost interest in LSE. <laughs> I, said, hey, uh, I don't think I'm going to work like comics, so I'll go for MBA then. So all these two three people they used to be preparing for times or oh, career venture. What is a career launcher? <laughs>
said, go and bring it from the hostel. <laughs>
देन आई वेंट टू सुभाष कई प्रोडक्शन तो वहाँ पे बोले कि नहीं यार यहाँ पे कोई वैकेंसी नहीं है देन आई वेंट टू रेड जिनी वहाँ पे रिसेप्शनिस्ट ने वापस भेज दिया तो इस टाइम लाइक यार ऐसे कैसे हो गया वाओ वाओ वेल डू दिस सो आई स्टार्टेड अ सोसाइटी कॉल आर्ट एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस माय फ्रेंड्स वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड वाज इन यूसीएल डूइंग एमएस आई मेड हिम द अमेरिकन कंट्री हेड ऑफ दैट सोसाइटी आई हैड अ फ्रेंड वाज इन पेरिस ही हैड गॉटन थ्रू एनसीआर और सम ऑफ दिस कॉलेज आई मेड इन द यूरोपियन हेड ऑफ द आई हैड अ जूनियर इन केजीबी आई मेड इन द केजीबी लोकल बॉडी एडमिन समथिंग एंड आई मेड इन द एशियन हेड ऑफ द सोसाइटी learnings how a professionally put thing really goes a long way so i got a bond paper patra wala paper bhi nahi aaya bond paper pe acche se type karke i got a letter i wrote uh, an annexure to the letter which had three point agenda of studying indian cinema from the point of view of technology art and business and uh, i said my friends my con- contemporaries are studying it in european cinema my friend anikhil is studying it in american cinema and i have been interested in the job to do that in indian cinema and then i wrote 15 letters i put them in very expensive lifafa and i put that seal also the mom kharid ke laya aur aise with some organization stamp and everything and then in the letter i wrote to all these production houses that you have been chosen by our <laughs> cinema from these three point agenda i got seven replies the next day <laughs> so i thought you know i got a reply from uh, rakesh roshan's office was his office all those people were rejected the referral reply and some more so red chili was nearest uh, and i had gone there in civil dress the receptionist would have recognized me so i went in a formal wore a tie a white shirt black trousers i went there the receptionist didn't recognize me Okay, so please come and see. So you're the same. You're the same girl who, I think, more, not more than ten days, threw me out of the office. Let me speak. Let me tell you. Yes, we are waiting for you. So three guys came. They saw me coffee. Then the chief AD came from Om Shanti Om, and he sat with me. And I started explaining him that you know how we want to approach this and this that. And I told him that in order to do this, I have to really be an insider and not studied as an outsider. So I will become one of you. I will become a runner or an AD. And then I'll study it from inside so that I can give a right report to my international team. I said yes, very good. <laughs> Next day I was studying for a car, but again there are people who are smart and there are people who have gone in their life where also they recognize what they're doing. So Farah said, "You don't do anything. What are you going to do?" So I said, "Ma'am, I'll be I'll be a slave." I was like, yes, I think I need some slaves. Be my bitch, come from from the office. So, and that's how I got the job from Jantiyo, from the same office where I was rejected and not given an opportunity to even work in the office. So again, this is a moment where it was like my first stepping stone into the industry. So, a small learning that I had that if you really try to, I mean, sometimes in life you have to really lie a lot to come across honest. So that's the irony of life. If you have to. Tell the world that this is the truth about you. You'll have to lie, and don't refrain from doing that. Uh, <coughs> then uh, I started working. Lot of things happened. Uh, in between, uh, I tried to make these small short films, this that, blah blah blah. I was trying to. Uh, I was working with Shahrukh Khan on the set and this, and I was completely in awe of things. Again, a one simple mistake that I did. I didn't try to find out. Information around what was happening. So I was interested in directing. I was interested in writing. I completely forego the step of when I landed the job to find out what else happens in the industry. So this is again a problem which we all do. I mean, we like saying that okay, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do, I want to be a astronaut, I want to be a DJ, I want to be an EDM artist. But we do very very basic research. I mean, this is the most important thing about Indians. Uh, there are a couple of more things we should know about real world. So when they give you cash prize in competitions, don't believe them because they never give you that cash. So I have around 14 lakh 
बड़े बड़े चेक्स हैं जो कि फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स और इन सब में मिले थे और आज तक दे नॉवल कम टू मी सो दीज आर द स्मॉल थिंग्स यू हैव टू स्पेंड एटलीस्ट फोर टू फाइव इयर्स एंड डू वन ग्रेजुएशन इन द रियल वर्ल्ड आउटसाइड द वॉल ऑल्सो टू फिगर आउट वॉट हैपन्स दैन बट आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट सर्टन शोज फॉर एम टी वी यू ऑल वॉच बिग बैंड थ्री एवरी वन यू गैज वॉच फ्रेंड्स यू गैज वॉच साइंस फील्ड सो दिस इज द बैकग्राउंड विच आई हैड टू वी ऑल लव दिस काइंड ऑफ शोज I wanted to make them for Indian television. I wanted to create that. So I used to talk to these. Uh, uh, there was a huge table in MTV, and there were like some five gentlemen sitting, all of them in their mid forties, fifties, couple of youngsters who had must have buttered their way up. And uh, I used to tell them, you know, see, I want to make this show called Ingenious Diary, and this is going to be a little bit intelligent and this and that. Is it intelligent? Our audiences are dumb. How many million intelligent people? the enthusiasm with which they were defending and telling me that our country is dumb was just marvelous so they were really out to prove that how dumb we are you know they they took it personally and how can you expect our audience to be intelligent they are dumb what are you saying are you coming from the other world i was like what are you saying i don't know what to say but any way fine so they dumbed down my show uh, i spent around 8 months of my life trying to make the worst show ever They had gotten some biggest of the guys, and all the guys who produces Big Boss, one of the biggest shows in the country. So they were brought on board. MTV was there, and me and my group of trudies from a couple of guys from IIT Bombay, a couple of guys who see here, some of these are coming from IIT Kharagpur. So we were all stuck in a corner. We were trying to work our way out, and uh, what happened after eight months of hard work was we made a very very atrocious bad show. Never. It got rejected. Then. Uh, I wrote uh, then the guy from MTV called and he said, you know, I we are, I I thought that you know I should a little I should be a little bit more assertive and not let them handle the way they are doing it. But when you are young, when you go out, you know your superiors tell you people who have had 20 years of experience, they tell you, no, no, this is wrong. You know, you have to do it like this. Then you get to get to you get swayed away. I said, okay, fine, maybe you know, he knows what is in my best interest. And uh, it was not in the best interest. They were just fence setters who were saving their job. They didn't have balls to take any decisions. So and I went along with them, but I think that was the best learning part of my life. Then I conceived a small show called College Cutie Appa. So Cutie Appa, uh, that the word comes from my, you know, this is something which I have observed in my life that there is certain beauty about all the insanities that is there in India. So have you, all the guys who travelled in the airplanes, uh, the moment the, there is a touchdown, you will hear at least five bottles go off in India. सबके सामने बगल खोल लेते एवरी वन इज इन सच अ रश टू गेट आउट ऑफ द प्लेन इफ यू स्टैंड ट्रैफिक सिग्नल एवरी वन इज रशिंग इन इंडिया एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग टू कट दे आउट डू अ बाई पास ओवर टेक सम वन वॉक फॉर्स दिस इज वॉट इज देर इन आई हैव सीन त्रिची आई हैव सीन जम्मू आई हैव सीन कैलकटा सिल्चर एंड आई हैव सीन अहमदाबाद इन सिल्चर सो दिस हैपन्स एवरी वेयर एवरी बडी एवरी वेरी इन इंडिया इज इन अ रश इज इन अ हरी वॉट इज द फ्लिप साइड We are all always late. <laughs> we are the most unpunctual country in the world. We never come come to class on time. We never go to meetings on time. We are always late. We never reach on time. But ironically, we are always running. We are always in a hurry. What is what is this? So these are the small things that used to make me wonder. Yeah, ये क्या हो रहा है? हम लोग सब इतनी जल्दबाजी में बट हमेशा late पहुँचते हैं. हम लोग सब इतनी गप्पे करते हैं बट काम कुछ नहीं होता है. हम लोग सब इतनी बंदियों की बातें करते हैं बंदियां किसी नहीं पड़ती सो यू नो देयर इज अ ह्यूमर इन दिस एंड यू नो दैट्स हाउ द इंसेप्शन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड क्योंकि आपा केम वी कंसीव द स्मॉल शो फॉर एमटीवी एंड एमटीवी रिजेक्टेड दैट शो आल्सो आई थिंक दैट वाज द बेस्ट रिजेक्शन इन माय लाइफ बिकॉज़ इफ दैट वुड हैव हैपेंड आई वुड हैव रियली गिवन द मोस्ट पॉपुलर ब्रांड टुडे इन न्यूज एंटरटेनमेंट फॉर 75000 बक्स टू एमटी सो अनदर लेसन इन माय लाइफ some of your rejections are going to be the best things in your life so you have to cherish them these are the things if you believe in your shit your shit will turn to gold the show got rejected youtube was coming up i was frustrated all these three four things led me to find out a, a way so that i could create things on my own and not really be a slave to some 50 year old guy telling me what needs to be done this is a decision that i took it was not a business driven decision it was completely foolish emotional and out of frustration taken decision i did 
I had I used to make very less money from all the corporate films that I used to do. I had to support a team of four people, but I still went ahead and did this just to prove these guys wrong that no Indian audience is not that brave proof. People who are sitting in this room, they will like the intelligent shows that we make. It is not that they will detest it. That was the only inception. So the, all the rejections that I had in my five years trying to create content on my own led me to find people. And then we launched all these on 21st February 2012. And as you say, I was, uh, let's say the stream, you guys have seen most of the work. And today, DVF happens to be the second biggest new media network in the country. And uh, that's all I need. That's the thing, guys. I mean, I have uh, I have only one thing to do. Like, okay, uh, I'll just ask a small question. So, uh, just ambitious. Masak me, I have come in, come in, din mein chhaya lata hai ek baar. Who all want to change this country for the better? Please raise your hand. Okay, keep your hands raised. Keep your hands raised. Out of these guys, who all of you think even once before spitting on the road? Put your hand down. Are you are all liars. Who thinks we were spitting on the road? Don't, don't raise your hand. Have you guys spitted on the road? None of you have spitted on the road. Only five people have spit on the road. Be true to yourself, yeah? So see, these are the things. All I want to tell you guys today is take things in your own hand. When we speak of, you know, we have four rules in our office when it comes to changing the nation since, you know, there are certain, some of these topics are going to be discussed today. So we have only four rules in our office when it comes to changing the nation. Don't litter, don't spit on the road, teach on time and never break a queue. So if if 10 million of people who we are, who we genius, we progressive young people, we start following these four rules, imagine the kind of change that will come to this country. So you don't have to really do uh, be that crowd which goes to in front of an office and start shouting hame ye chahiye, hame wo chahiye, hame ye de do, hame wo de do wo kya jamana hai now you guys have the power, now you guys have the energy to do things on your own don't wait for stuff to happen go out, do it on your own figure out how you do those things never really wait for things to happen half of you guys must not even be trying to get a girlfriend just craving about it, sitting in a scene or a canteen so that is the thing, yeah, you have to keep matters in your And it is it's, it's completely translatable in every sphere of your life. You wanna you want to get a job, you want to change the world, you want to start an NGO, you want to be a coder, you want to be an astronaut, you want to be a filmmaker, you want to be an actor, you want to do anything that you want to do, you just have to start doing. The to-do list is not think or plan. What do you want to do? Make those lists, figure out what you can do on your own and trust me the kind of campuses that we are setting in, trust me the kind of intellect that you guys have. If you guys really put your heart into it, put your heart into really enjoying the process, you will manage to do that. I will try to finish this thing with something which I used to always think that this is all about me, this is all about funding my father. He said that this is all about Gita, this is all about Gita. This is all about Gita, this is all about Karman Nevaas, this is all about Maa Falai Shukh Kada Chalam. You know, I used to be like you guys, I used to be like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I used to be like, 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 but the slow means that you should not bother about result, you should keep on working and enjoying the... Uh, I have figured out in the small, tiny six years of my experience outside this world, it's the best and most pragmatic and practical way to live life happily. If you are process oriented, you are going to get there. If you have a clarity of a goal, what exactly you want to do, even if it is as ridiculous as a porn star, you will figure it out and you will do it. So, just be that, be a process oriented and not result oriented and you will figure your life out and you will have the best life.
we got from a very young alumnus. We saw what his uh, journey has been so far. Thank you for sharing that with us. His journey has been one of uh, a very random kind at the beginning where he has been making choices. Uh, every semester it has been changing and finally he reaches his destination. It's okay to be confused, but finally when you have a, have a goal in life, whether you go straight or you go roundabout, finally you reach it.